Audio is good? Yeah, looks like. So hi, my name is uh, Daniel Fernandez. I'm a head of IT at the Swiss Alpine Club. And as the title says, uh, I would tell you um, how do we have um, reinvented the online experience f um, for our users at the Swiss Alpine Club. Uh, the topics today are what is the Swiss Alpine Club? Then uh, I would uh, tell you some words about the um, digital strategy and goals that we had. And then present you the solution that we have built together with our partner Aventis. The results of that and the lessons learned and the next, next steps that, uh, that we plan. And then if there are questions, so we do that. So the Swiss Alpine Club um, is um, an old institution. It's more than 150 years old. Uh, today, we have 150,000 club members. They are organized in 111 uh, local sections in Switzerland. And this section runs uh, 153 mountain huts. This hut uh, generates uh, around about 1 million daily visitors per year. And the people um, sleep 320 times overnight somewhere in the mountains in Switzerland. Um, what we do, so it's not only about uh, Alpine huts. We have uh, different products and services that we offer for our members, but also for non-members, like tourists and just interested people. Uh, here a short list about, so we run uh, a portal where people can uh, plan their uh, routes. We offer education and training. Uh, our members can stay in huts in Switzerland, but also in uh, Germany, Austria, and other countries around the Alps for a reduced uh, rate. We produce also um, a magazine, The Alps, in three languages, uh, German, French, and Italian. We run an online store with uh, SIC products. So that means we offer so, so real hardware products like equipment, but also um, subscriptions to different services that we offer. Then we have a central library in Zurich, and we run also a museum in Bern. And much more stuff. <laughs> uh, the SIC could not um, be run without volunteers. We have in our club around about 7,000 people and on average, they work 20 hours uh, a month for free for the club. So if you make a, a little um, a sum up, so we have around about 800 full-time employees, and that's priceless. This 7,000 people uh, are supported by the administrative office in Bern there is um, the place where also the IT is there. Uh, what's about? So summer, winter, it's about people, it's about mountains, it's about hiking. And the SIC tries to provide the members uh, and the guests with all necessary things that you need um, to be safe and have fun in the mountains. Um, two and a half years ago, we defined a digital strategy for the club. And there wa was many goals, but today I talk only about one single piece. And that was the point that 
we will make our services easy to use and accessible to get the services. So the goals was to the people that they can use our infrastructure without thinking. So two and a half years before we had um, old infrastructure, it was complicated, we had different user stores, and it was, if we want to say, a little bit a mess. So as example, you had a, a web shop and that runs separately from other services. So the goal was um, to have one user store, one identity for the person that we have the possibility to make a single sign-on from one service to another, that we have the possibility to make uh, uh, easy onboarding, registering or, or activation of members on our website, and also um, the functions uh, self-management. So it means I can change my data, I can take a look at my data, I can change my subscriptions, and so on. At the SAC, um, identity management, that means we have around about a half million users and growing every day. And we have uh, around 60,000 roles. So as example, um, we have different type of memberships. We have uh, 100 and so on sections. We have different levels of officials. Wardens, subscribers, authors, um, and so on. So it's um, a pretty complex structure. <clears throat> so when we started the project two and a half years ago, it was really clear from the beginning that we need something that we can consolidate our user store. And then we sat together with our partner Avintis and designed. That was one of the first things that we done before we planned the, the whole website. So that was before. And the SIC solution with um, WSO2 products looks basically like this. So there are two parts. One part was the integration, and the other part was the authentication. In our case, that means that we have, in the brown field, <laughs> we have a, a Dynamics NAV system where we manage our members, but only these members. So we have created an integration between Microsoft Dynamics and the enterprise integrator, so the, the ESB, where we can, um, over XML files, cl the classic way, where we can translate our business cases to the user store and, and be able to, to set the right roles in the user store. So we start not from the website, we started basically from the legacy uh, system to fill already existing identities. So the stack um, is from Dynamics over the integrator to the identity server and store the user information in the user store. That's one part, the, the integration part. The other part was then the identity management or login system, how we call. There was the goal one master user store, multiple service providers. At the moment, we have six. Uh, potentially, that could be over 100. It depends on in which speed we will continue to implement one thing after another. 
And on top of uh, the identity server, we created um, a login app, a view-based um, login app that we feed with custom REST services that comes from the ESP. And the whole thing uh, is based on uh, the Open ID, ID Connect protocol. So at the end, the result of this whole story was, as I said, one login app. We, over this app, everything, the, the whole magic, what is visible for the client, happens at the end there. So we have uh, one login app where you can authenticate, but you can also register. From there, you can become a member. If you have forgot your uh, password, you can reset there. Or um, as member, there are special implemented um, workflows. You can activate your account with your physical member card that you get with your member ID and um, something like a, a PUC code, so a one-time key to be able to onboard. Um, with this solution, we had then um, the result that we have reducted the data silos, so one user store, and uh, one smooth user experience. So at the moment today, no matter if you want to if you want to book a hot stay, if you want to uh, buy something in a shop, if um, you want to read uh, an article that you need to be a subscriber, um, if you want to book um, a course, or if you want to change something in your profile in, in my SIC. So that happens basically w with one login and also the single logout. Um, the next steps, what we plan is uh, to implement uh, AP management with uh, WSO2 AP manager. We have um, a little internal project running, and we think that the API manager would be good to solve the problems that we have because the SIC will also transform digitally. <laughs> we have um, we have the situation that uh, more and more the SIC becomes to a provider of data like hot data or weather data, snow data, or whatever. And for this, we need to be able to provide secure access uh, to, to our data. That's one point. Um, another point is uh, the infrastructure. So we work uh, with uh, Docker and based on a Chelastic infrastructure. And we plan to continue to transform also our infrastructure to be uh, able to scale and reduce downtimes to zero. What we have learned in this uh, two and a half years was you need time to plan in detail because the evil is in the detail. <laughs> so we have seen uh, topics like uh, migrate different user store, consolidate data, uh, the schemas, and so on. That can be really um, a hard topic. <laughs> and <clears throat> there is always impact where you do not expect. So a little, a little thing uh, was, OK, we have a member card. And the plan was to print a one-time activation code for that members 
fine. Uh, usually you will do like in a, in a, like a credit card, so you will print that code on the back side and not on the same side where the member number is. So we had the problem our uh, printery is not able to do that. <laughs> so you have impact on the lowest possible thing and then you need to deal with it. Yeah, that was my little presentation. Are there any questions? <laughs>